Well, hello everybody. Um, I'm here at the SME assembly in uh, Luxembourg. It's a very fascinating assembly and we are talking about small and mid-sized enterprises. And I'm here with Jolt, is that correct? Jolt, I, yes. Jolt, I said it correctly. And um, I am very happy that he's uh, speaking with me because he's an entrepreneur, he has his own business. Um, Jolt, could you tell us what you do? Sure, I, I run a video production company, so it's quite simple, I can sum it up in three words. Perfect. Um, how long do you have your company? The business mothership has been around for three years now. I've been in the business for 15 years, um, oh, 15 as, years. as a freelancer for other companies and working for Disney, working for um, TV companies in Canada, working all over the place. And so through, through the, those 15 years I've gained, well, I guess 12 years, I've gained enough experience to then attempt to run my own company, which is what's happening now. Okay, so your own company, is it an incorporated company? Or? Yes, it's a, it's a limited company. Okay, and um, it's your company or are you, have you founded it with others as no. a shareholders? It's my company, I'm 100% shareholder. Okay. Uh, it originally started off as a collective, so I had, uh, I think, four other people involved. Um, okay. Three in London, one in Budapest. Um, okay. And I live in Leeds, which is north of England. Okay. So it's quite geographically spread out, but basically the idea was that because 12 years of freelancing around the world, I've met a lot of talented people and people that I trust and know very well. We figured that if we pool our resources together, we can sell ourselves much better as a, as a, as a group okay. with all of our different talents and different types of films we've made over the years than individually. So we essentially decided to pool together our resources to essentially try to get better work, better okay. quality of jobs. And you are from the United Kingdom, from Leeds, you said? Well, yes, I'm from, but I live in, obviously, with this accent, I'm not from the United Kingdom, <laughs> but I do live okay. in Leeds, yeah. And uh, was it difficult to set up this company? It um, took me about 10 minutes and earned me 50 pounds to do so. <laughs> okay, I mean, this is, this is really amazing. When I think about uh, Germany, uh, if we want to set up a limited liability company, um, it takes us about, um, well, 25,000 euros, uh, a few days if we are lucky, a few weeks if wow. we are not lucky. So this is, this is really amazing. Um, when thinking about your company, um, you, you run it now for three years. Um, have you experienced any difficulties uh, with running a company? So, for example, you said you're working for Disney, uh, for other big companies. Um, you must have a lot of experience, for example, with uh, dealing with clients. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's challenges every day, um, whether that's staffing, whether that's sales, whether that's premises, there's always something. For example, we had a, a wonderful studio in a, a huge space that was sharing with another company, um, and that company decided to pull out, and it was they were the leaseholders of the space, and they all had, okay. had to do happen very, very quickly. We didn't have time to then um, secure the space for ourselves before they had to give it up, and there was another taker, so we lost that space. And then it took a few months to find somewhere suitable again, but we found it, and it's great, and it's it's all working very well. So it's you know every, these setbacks are going to come along, but you just have to take it as it goes and and deal with it. You have a lot of international clients then. Um, not so much. I mean, most of our clients are in the UK, but okay. they, but they um, some of them are international companies that, that we go work okay. elsewhere. Um, but no, I wouldn't say international clients so much. We don't sell to or haven't yet sold to companies outside of the UK. Actually, that's not true. We just did a job for a company in LA that they just found us on, online and uh, they needed something filming that was near to where we are Okay. and hired us to do that. So in that sense, yes, we have done that, but that was the pretty much the only time so far. If you think about these last three years that you have your own company mm -hmm. now, um, is there something that particularly stands out, something that was good or bad, uh, that might be interesting for other people who think about founding their own company? That's a really good question. I'm not sure how to answer that, to be honest with you. There's, like I said, there's always a million things, good and bad. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I have a, a particular Okay, uh, but when you think about the, 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 the problems that you encountered, um, is there something uh, from which you learned something? Oh sure, well I think forward planning and cash flow planning is always, <laughs> cash, cash is always planning. good to have. So obviously um, if sometimes, especially with a small company, like essentially my company is, I do pretty much everything and, and as far as running the business goes, um, when it comes to like, making the productions happen, that's a different story than you have teams and everybody sorts that okay. out. But as far as the business goes, it's just me. So it's a pretty steep learning curve going from 
from being a, just a freelance uh, person uh, responsible for kind of small projects for yourself or for working for other, other companies where they take care of the production, they take care of all the, all the business matters. So you have to basically, I just dove in head first into this semi-unknown world and, and then you have to learn to swim okay. basically instantly. Um, so there, there's there's few things here and there that you, you sometimes your head goes underwater a little bit and then you have to yeah. gasp for breath but then you get out on the other side and hopefully you make it sure I have so far <laughs> it's all good. Uh, my last question: When you compare being a freelancer mm -hmm. to being a business owner, yeah. what would you say? What is the big difference, or what is one of the differences? I think yeah. I mean I've always approached my work with as though it was whatever production I was working on, I always took ownership of it as though it, I'm working for for the good of the production. A lot of freelancers don't do that, a lot of people just turn up and, and do their bit and go home and not have to worry about anything afterwards. So for me there wasn't such a huge difference between go, being a freelancer and then running my own business. But I think that would be a massive difference for a lot of people is that all of a sudden it's you're responsible for everything and it's your name and it's your livelihood and it's, and it's your yeah. pride on the line so you really have to put in 110 percent because otherwise it's just not over perfect well you all thank you very very much Pleasure. for speaking to me and uh, i hope you learned something and see you in the next video thanks cheers